welcome back to Smith Coating and Design. So right now I have a Pearson pallet base that I just installed on the table of my Sile X7. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and probe the round pin and then we're going to probe off of one of the pads. We're going to store that offset in G59. That way moving forward any work that I do or any pallet I put on that base I can reference it from the same work offset. And if you're curious what this ugly white thing is here in the back, it's just a cover for my tool setter. Uh, I 3D printed it and made it magnetic just so that it keeps some of the, uh, the coolant off of the tool setter. Okay, um, so now let's go ahead and come to the controller here. Um, and so I'm not trying to sell you guys a screen set. Again, I am using the third-party screen set. But when I purchased the Sile, one of the questions that I had, and again, I'm coming from a Tormach, and they have a nice set of probing screens that you use in Pathpilot. I wanted something similar to that because it's easier to use, so that was one of the determining factors I had in choosing the Sile X7. I wanted that probing capability. So can you use a nice graphical interface to do probing routines with the Sile X7 on the LNC 6800 controller? The answer is yes, you just have to purchase a third party screen set. And so again here, I'm just going to simply scroll through the, the options we have here. So what we have shown here now is just probing off of Z. However, let me scroll to some of the other options here. Um, so this routine is the center of a hole. I'm just gonna press input. Uh, so there you go, we can probe the center of a hole. I press input again. Uh, we can do a circular boss. This is the routine that we will use uh, to go ahead and probe that round pin. Let's see what else we have here. We have the center of a slot. Let's look at that. There you go, let's press input again. We have a square boss, input again. These are just your simple X, Y, and Z touch offs. We then have an internal corner, and that's one more. We have an external corner. So those are all the routines that come with the screen set. And then over here, um, sort of on the right hand side, you can pick you know, which work offset you want your where your probing stored in so the offset that your probe finds stored in so again i'm using g59 and i'm going to keep the offset for the pearson pallet in g59 um, so with that being said let's go ahead and get into the probing sorry about that i had some issues with my gimbal so here we are back at the controller again this is a third par third party screen set right now i have it set to probe a circular boss I'm using a silver CNC probe and all that I need to do for this routine is set the boss diameter which is shown up here along with the amount I want to drop in Z which is 400 thousandths to begin probing and then you'll see there under uh, WCS offset I have it set to G59 again which is where I'm going to store my offset. So now all we need to do is come down here to the machine and then I'm going to press the probe button and we should be able to see the probe begin. So I'm going to press that now. Start probe. And then of course I have MPG DRN set. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch that. So there we go. There probing begins. So hopefully everyone can see that again have to keep my door shut so we are currently using my cell phone to look through the door at the probing. So there we go. Everything seems to be working beautifully. And now we should go ahead and touch off the last side. There we go. Beautiful, so that stored the center of the round pin again in G59. So now I'm going, all I'm going to do is a Z-touch 
off of one of the pads. So we will do that now. So all I'm going to do is come back up here to the screen set. So let's see if we can navigate while using the phone here. So I'm going to input and then I am just going to scroll down to the Z axis input and now as you can see over here we have an approximate distance above the Z touch off so I'm going to go ahead and jog the machine over one of the pads and then we'll pick back up and go ahead and show the probing all right so here we are over one of the pads so now I'm going to do is shut the door and go ahead and do the Z probing routine so again hopefully we can see this so I am at the controller right now again I am just pressing the start probe button okay there we go and so now it should begin probing so that's all there is to it and so now again the, the center of the circular pin and my Z is off the pad that's all stored in G59 and now I can reference that each time. All right, I hope that helps. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and end here in Fusion 360. And what I have shown here is how I plan to use my Pearson palette. So this is just a Pearson palette base with some parametric stock, which is really just an eight by 14 Pearson palette that I made translucent. So I'll just rotate it a little bit. And if I go ahead and hide what would be the stock, you'll see in here, all I did was make a sketch that is on the same plane as the pad. And I just put a point in the center of the pin. So this point again is on the same plane as this pad. So that's where I will go ahead and make my origin for my WCS. So for example, if I go into manufacture here, you can see I set my origin again, center of the pin with the Z the same height as the pad. And I guess just to sort of show you the first thing that I will be making um, with my Pearson palette, I am taking one of the eight by 14 palettes and I'm going to mount a Saunders palette that I have laying around. So I didn't buy a Saunders fixture plate this time like I did for my Tormach just because the Sile X7, the spindle doesn't go all the way down and touch the table. I believe it's about six inches above the table. So instead of spending, you know, $800, $700, whatever it costs for the Saunders fixture plate, Again, I had one of these little pallets that already has the threaded holes and, and everything in it. So I can go ahead and use the mod vices. I'm just going to go ahead and machine uh, the Pearson pallet and then mount the Saunders pallet on top of that. So hopefully that will let me use my mod vices again because I do have a few mod vices laying around. I think two single mod vices and one double mod vice station. So I would like to be able to use those. And then I'll also make a palette where I can mount my Kurt DX4. So that's it. That's how I plan to use the Pearson palette. Again, this is my first time using the Pearson system. So if you guys have any comments or anything I should look for, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video.